How's it going everybody? It's Dustin here and today we got a little bit of a scrap run. Not a whole lot, just a few odds and ends. Uh, pumpkin patch is getting real close as you guys have heard me mention a hundred times. So got to clean up some junk. Can't have scrap piles laying around with people wandering around. So, so we just got some random odds and ends. The $50 brush hog. It worked really great at the beginning. So I paid 50 bucks for it. I went and made 400 with it. Then whenever I did a whole lot more, so I did a lot more brush hogging with it off camera. And that's when the issues came up. I snapped the rear wheel off. Then the rear wheel, the first the rear wheel bearing went out messed the wheel up then it snapped the whole thing off then the gearbox started howling so it's not worth it uh the conveyor belt i had gotten to try and rig up somehow for firewood one i did try and back the truck up under it and it's just not tall enough not gonna work two i did try and start it the bearings are all out in it. The motor was sounded horrible. Not worth it. So, are these two things fixable? Is this brush hog fixable? Is that conveyor belt fixable? Yes, completely, 100% fixable. Is the juice worth a squeeze? Absolutely not, not for me. I can go to another auction, buy another $50 brush hog and try it again. Maybe the next one won't fail. I, either way, it's a score. I made 400 bucks off the $50 investment. Plus, I'm going to go scrap it and get my money back. So, win-win for me. Um, here's some more stuff that broke on it while I was using it. No big deal. You could weld all that back up. And like I said, you could fix every single bit of this. The deck is rotten. So, that would need to be fixed. Um, they don't have any chains on it, so it slings crap everywhere. I got hit with rocks two or three times. It worked good for the project. Now the project's over, time to move on. Uh, conveyor belt. The conveyors, the actual belt itself is rotten. And then all the work it would take, at the end of the day, what do you got? You got a six foot tall conveyor belt. What's that gonna do you? I thought it might work good to load the truck where Brant could split and just drop it off into the hopper. And I think the amount of work it would take just to get it to the truck would be not worth it. Then here's the truck. It came up to about right here. Well, what good's that gonna do? I need it way up here in the middle. So once again, juice ain't worth the squeeze. So we're going to go recover our money, clean up some more on the pumpkin patch. I did pull that electric motor off. We're selling that separate. So not much weight, but main goal is to clean up. So let's go hit the scrap yard and uh, we'll check in when we get there. Well, we made it to Steel City. It uh, looks like we're sitting about 8,100. Yeah, 8,100 on the scale. good stuff we got here today oh man there's a dent side over there looks a little rough though okay looks like it's our turn
Well, before we get out of here, let's see what they got new in the goodie aisle. This is the kind of stuff that you can come and buy off of it. Is that a Ford? Two-door, almost looks like a Galaxy or Fairlane or something. Boy, that back window is rotted out. That's a pretty cool looking truck. A little Valiant. It's cool. Another Ford, a couple Fords. A few new goodies that we didn't see the last time. Well, we made it back from the scrap yard. Um, like a total doofus. I had the receipt in my pocket and the wing window, I had all the wing windows open, the windows down, and somehow the receipt came out of my pocket. So it's not near as believable without the receipt. <clears throat> so you're just gonna have to trust me. All total, well, the electric motor brought like $5.60. Uh, the cord brought like two bucks and some change. Um, scrap is a lot higher than it was the last time I took. The last time it was like 110, 115, seems like. It's 155 a ton right now. So, scrap's up, which is good. Uh, I think that stuff weighed close to 1,500 pounds. So, all total, I was $125.60. So, not a killing but I paid 50 bucks for that brush hog, made 400 with it, brush hogged a ton of stuff around the house, scrapped it, got my 50 bucks back. Um, I would have liked to have kept it. And yes, every scrapping video I do, people tell me how stupid I am for scrapping something. Here's the deal. We've all got a limited amount of time on this earth. So, what we do with that is our own prerogative. Do I feel like it's a good use of my time right now to mess with that brush hog and keep it in my way? No. Come November when the pumpkin patch is over, I may go get another one, put it in the shop and tinker with it all winter. But right now, not a good use of my time. Same thing with that conveyor. I paid 60 bucks for it, so got my money back. And I knew when I got it, it was gonna be a stretch if it was gonna be usable or not. But you could probably spend 100 hours tinkering with it and make it usable. Is that a good use of my time? No. So that's a question everyone has to ask themselves. Some of them lawnmowers I've scrapped. People have given me a hard time saying I should have just fixed them. Well, my opinion is why when I can go get another one at an auction for the same price. Just like that brush hog, that wasn't a once in a lifetime deal. You see them all the time for 50, 100, 150 bucks, buy another one. So it's not worth putting 500 into a $50 brush hog. I just go get another one. That's my thoughts. Are they correct? Probably not for you, but they are for me. So while I was at the scrapyard, I left the tail lights out. So we're gonna see what the deal is with that real quick before we call it a video. It looks like we got a broken wire. And a double bonus, I really do enjoy hauling scrap. I think it's a lot of fun. Well, the wiring's a bit of a mess under here, so. Looks like the wires are all connected, so I might just have a bulb out. Yeah, bulb's broke. Be 
careful with it. Get a pair of pliers. Well, I thought I would have one, but not seeing one. Should just be an 1157. Well, I'm gonna have to run to town. I thought I had some. Well, I did have some. I must have used them all. But it's just an 1157 bulb. There's a, like trailer lights. Like if you got a, like that one over there is a little bit different, but 1156 is a single element and 1157 is the dual element. So, real common bulb, so. But we don't have any kind of parts store in the town I live in, so I'll have to go to the next town over. But I wish I could have uh, not lost the receipt for the scrapyard. I like showing you guys that. That way you know I'm not fibbing about weights and prices. So, and like I said, just each their own on what they value, I guess. I don't even know why I'm getting off on it, but I know someone's gonna tell me how stupid I am for the brush hog or the conveyor belt but whatever definitely need to do some work on the wiring and the lighting on the truck that's a winter project that's the kind of stuff i would much rather spend the winter tinkering with than that crappy old brush hog so i got a lot of tinkering i need to do on the truck it needs new lights all the way around they've all got issues um, the floorboards are rotted out I would much rather tinker on stuff like that than that junky old brush on. Well, I made it back with a couple of new bulbs. Well, we got the tail light fixed. We got some scrap hauled off today. Yeah, it's a pretty successful day. Brant's over there splitting some firewood. Girls are doing the chores, so it's a good evening. Um, yeah, I like. I really enjoy hauling scrap off. I don't know why, but something about taking what most people consider trash and taking it and having someone pay you for it instantly is a little bit of gratification and uh, i just really enjoy it i've done it for 15 16 years whenever i get it i don't now sometimes i'll search it out like right now the price is at 155 so it's time to start looking for some um but i just really enjoy it it's a lot of fun uh, especially with the dump truck it's easy now you see guys show up to the scrapyard and they're a hand unloading all that stuff and had to hand up load all of it and I which I've been there but it's a whole lot more work than just raising the lever and dumping it all out. So, anyway, like I said, yeah, we could have fixed that brush hog. There's just no point to me. I can go to the next consignment auction and get probably two or three of them if I wanted to. They're a dime a dozen at any auction. So I see no point into putting a whole lot of time and effort and money into that particular one. So that's my justification. May not be right for no one else, but it's how I justify it. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do. And don't forget to drop me a comment and let me know you're here. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.